carrying on talking about timeline tools, there's another really important little option that we have, which is to do with slipping a clip. Now, what do I mean by slipping a clip? Well, if we look at this clip here, it's selected. And if you remember, the open square brackets takes you to the beginning of the clip. You can see it's kind of boring with an indistinct background. Now, if I go the close square brackets, it shows me the end of the clip. And it's kind of just beginning to show a headland over here. Whereas if I look at the actual clip in my trimmer window, I can see that it gets a lot more interesting. I've got a castle in the background, and I've got a little interesting wave that comes over the, the seawall there before the boat slows down. So there's a lot of interesting information, but I'm not showing that in my timeline. In my timeline, I've just got the two bits that are kind of indistinct and not really interesting. So I could really do is slipping the bit of the clip I'm seeing in the timeline. I don't want to go in and reselect something else because I'm happy with the exit point of the previous clip and the in point of the next clip. So I don't want to change the amount of this clip that's in my timeline, but I want to see a different bit of it. Now, if you just want to keep exactly the same length, if you hover over the middle of the clip and you hold the Alt key, you'll see that you get a different icon. And the icon shows arrows going to the end, basically to the edit points of the clip, the, the, the in point and the out point. Now, if you click, hold and drag, you get some wonderful feedback up in the preview window. It shows you the new in point and the new out points. And if you look down in the timeline, you see when I pull it along, you can actually see the audio waveform moving along as well showing you that I'm actually seeing a different portion of the clip, but still within the same amount of space that was previously chosen. And that's a true slip edit. So now I've got the boat starting out at sea, but when it finishes, it's just, let's leave the castle in view. So it now finishes with the castle in view. So if I now go using the open square bracket key and just hit the space bar to play, you can see the boat comes in, the headland appears, that's where it finished before. But now we can see the sea wall, we can see the castle, the wave's going to come over in a moment. And then it's going to stop and go on to the next clip. So we have slipped what is viewable in the timeline. And we have maintained the in and the out point. In other words, not changing our editing event decisions. However, there is another option which is called a slip edit. But a slip edit actually changes the length of the clip. If you hover over the beginning of a clip, you get the normal choice for trimming. And if you notice, if you look at the little trim icon, you can see it's showing me which clip it's going to trim from that sort of that dotted line in the middle. If I go to the other clip, the beginning of the other clip, you'll see it changes direction. So you can actually see which clip it's going to edit just by moving it from one side to the other. And also you get the highlights, what gives me that sort of cyan look, shows me the clip that's selected for trimming. So if I choose this clip for trimming, uh, but rather than trimming it, I hold the Alt key again. You'll see that I get something called a slip trim. And when I start to pull that in or out, you're going to see that things change in the preview monitor. And it's showing me that the in point remains unchanged. Okay, So the in point of this clip has not changed, but the out point is going to be different. But you can also trim forward as well. So if I wanted to come all the way to the harbour wall, I could do that. But notice I've now gone over the previous clip. So I have changed the length of the clip, but I've maintained the in point, but changed the out point of the clip. OK, so this is important. I'm, ch I'm keeping the in point, which is the one I'm over, but I am actually modifying the out point of the clip because I'm seeing different parts of the actual waveform. Now, if I hover over the out point and choose the out point of the clip, again, you can see which direction it's heading in, and I hold the Alt key. I can perform a slip trim at the end, which will maintain the out point, but change the in point. So if I move this and I get the feedback, you can see that the out point will always be the castle in the background, the wave and the boat. But the shorter I get, you can see that the boat starts earlier, but I am changing the length of the clip. And if I want, I can go back over the next clip and see exactly what's going on. Now, please note, when you go this way, your video clip goes underneath the next clip, underneath the next event. So you can see the audio is disappearing underneath event three. However, if I go to the beginning of the clip and do the same thing, hold the Alt key and I get my slip trim and I go over it. Notice I am going over the previous event. And there is a hierarchical way in which the timeline works. Okay, If you go to the next event, the next event will be on top of this event. 
So this event is on top of this event. Just bear that in mind when you're working on the timeline. If you do want to extend it this way, you will need to trim this clip and then you can actually do a slip trim if you wanted and pull it out, maintaining your out point but changing your in point. That's the only way you can do it that way. However, going the other way, you can actually write over the clips themselves. So that is a slip edit and a slip trim inside Sony Vegas. Extremely useful tools, things that you're going to find that you're going to use all the time. And it's kind of like, as I call it, editing to an event. You can decide exactly which part of the event you want to see in the timeline and edit it with the Alt key to either slip it, and you get the feedback in the preview monitor, slip the whole thing but maintain the in and the out points, or maintain the in point but change the out point, or maintain the out point but change the in point. Whatever one you're over when you hold the Alt key is the one that will remain. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.